Okay, being old black folks, and basically we're going to warning you about what's going to be coming around on the uh, February 13th through the 15th. Now, JPL, it was warned that it was supposed to come by. You can see, you can see this object. It's not an airplane. I'm going to prove it to you. We're going to go to full screen. Now, what, what happened was, is when I showed you what was bleeding through, uh, and it's not even up yet, and as you'll see, uh, I think it's uh, Rigel that's going to come up and stuff like that. Now, you got to watch this object right here. And because basically, you're, I'm going to be able to prove to you here at the 518 something or other that that thing's going to spread out. Now, what's most important here when you're looking at this shot is you can see that no matter what, that's the most glow that this city can put up on. But they've got high clouds, so it's it's really weird what 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 is happening in the sky. I really don't think that this is doing the all the major light up there in the sky. Or if anything, it's probably the most it could do. But then again, this might be from space, and that's what we're going to find out in a second, because I had this froze just to show you that this here item here is here, and I'm hopefully going to be able to freeze this too, or I'll be able to show you in a picture that I've got frozen. There's quite a bit that happened. And actually, when I watched the video, I could see this action, boom, 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 but it wasn't the planes. Normally, I can you can see the planes. I don't believe this is a plane, because basically what I had frozen was, as you can see that, I don't. I think that was part of it too. And I think also this is part of something that's coming up in the sky too. And it's not really the light from the city. Okay? Now the light from the city is down there. Okay? And it's kind of bleeding up. But what's very weird is see all that with the cloud cover over the city? And we're getting all this up here. And then the, the light spreads out here. So there is some light that's going on. Now let me take you to a picture real fast that I can... At this point in the video... Okay, it moves so fast that basically... It moved, and now you're going to see this star here and that there, and this is all taken at the same date and time, not at the exact same minute. But check this out. I'm going to go ahead and go to, uh, uh, we'll go ahead and look at it at print, open with, and we'll go to paint. And basically, first, let me blow it up here so you realize that I'm not playing any because when you go to paint, somebody might think of something, screwing with something. Okay, I can zoom in big there. But I can zoom in a little bit without going crazy. How much can I get? Because what we're looking at, let me get out a little bit. Because what we're looking at is our line streak that you know that's no airplane. If it is, we are catching our newest and baddest. But you also see these redness here. You see this here. And I think this is from a fast twirling star. As you can see there. Now we're going to see it better on paint here in a second. But you can see that there. And I've showed this last year on some videos. Okay, and then you got the starlight here from how many years, millions of years, or whatever it did take, whatever star this is, is bleeding and popping up. Okay, so we'll take and file it over on paint real fast. Save some video time. Now, when I got locked up, so I'm going to go try to get that 518.59 frozen on the live screen, okay? And you'll see here, too, that basically we're going to just go, we'll, we can go ahead and zoom in as much as we can. And drop down. I think we can look at it in paint, as you can see there. And then you get those, all those in, interesting stars there too. You've Got to make this quick because we've got to try to fit as much as in we can, as because there's a lot of stuff that happens in this. And as you see there too. And then I can slide over, and we can get a little bit better look at this thing. And you can realize that that is no flipping plane. And also, we'll try to zip down on the star. But I, when you're really the head of the star, and you can see those colors that are coming up over there, so they're getting. Stuff that we would normally see in, like I've been trying to tell, in the in the fall, they're getting stuff that would normally you would see at the north and south pole that the Eskimos would see and so forth and so such. Uh, the different colors, red, green, blue, and stars and so forth. At our basically mid-Latinates because of the, where Hawaii is at. If I get on that, so there you go, blown up. That ain't no flipping airplane, folks. So basically, we're getting some star action. Star lightning. Doesn't matter. We know stars electrically connect together up in space. So when you get a great view of it there, blown up. And like I say, you can see the pixels, and you see that basically it doesn't get played with at all. And that's as much as I can go to 800 on that. Okay, so I'll basically just pop out of that real fast. Or actually... We want to take a look at the star head down there real fast too. Let me save some tape time.
and I just find this stuff as fast as I can and as you can see there we get an awesome look at 800 of a wild red something and that's part of those stars I would think up there that's in the sky and hopefully we should be able to when I keep going across we should be able to move in on the head of the star but that's part of it right there so that's something the red dwarf something so we're starting to find and there you go terahydrons tetrahydrons around a blue kachina with the red in front of it in the middle of the nighttime sky bleeding through the clouds over there and there's the head so definitely we have something abounds okay and there's a lot more than one so you get that signature there and there's your date and time and as you can see other star clusters too so i wouldn't be it and we've already had kilauea throwing uh lava into the ocean and the stars make it happen and this stuff's happening so let's go back and get to the video and take a look so you've seen all that you can always watch on full screen and freeze it and then there's that's the picture we got it off of there on that and i think i got another picture loaded up here but no that was the same one on paint out of there and that was what i was freezing before when it first starts to come in you can see that action there and i think i'll probably just be able to get that good enough right here and it gets in the air. So you got that. So we'll try to blow in on when it's early too. We'll come back to that. 5, 18, 59, 35. We're looking for 59. And then you can watch the sky for whatever else pops in. And there it comes in. You get a good view of it coming in there. So basically I'll pop in on that real fast just for the hell of it. We'll pop up to 400. Come on, baby. There we go. Boom. Boom, and there you go. So there it comes in. It's coming in, and you basically get the red terahydrons, tetrahydrons coming with it. And we'll cross. And this is right off the video. So there's some wild stars action coming in out there. And as you can see, basically all kinds of stuff here. So now we'll pop back down, and there's your time. Because at 59 or whatever is when it spreads out across the sky. I always just try to make sure that you know I'm not playing with you at all. So we're at 58, and as you see there, basically we get a good view here. So I'll just pump up on the video screen, and we'll see it coming in early. So we're at 400, boom. There it is. It starts to come in. So you know that's not no airplane. So another good view there of it. And so basically we got it captured good on the on the picture, too. So you see all this stuff coming in, and then we're back, at, and then I can show you the whole sky. And that's what we got going on. Now we're going to find out what we got bleeding out at a little bit farther in the video and it's at 519 something and it's going to be bleeding out here at Lepus and Rigel and as you see what I started noticing was how come we got so much light all the way hell up high and as you can see there's a lot of light down on the city and it's just basically that's a little far fetched there because it might just be that bright sometimes but I really kind of doubt it but we are seeing some great action in the sky up high as you see this here comes in at this time here now there's, there's a few seconds difference and stuff like that on this thing here so I'm gonna pump in uh, 777 real fast like I did before and I just noticed that come in you see and that's what basically made me make the video originally and then when SCADA Big Brother locked us up they didn't like us looking at that so basically I zoom in, I gotta save some tape time trying to center on it. And I didn't know how hard and it might look a little bit different this time. So you go to Rigel and it's to the right of Rigel here. So and then we'll save some video time because we'll come back down and see it in a second again now. And you see that there at 777. So you, and you see you got a blue kachina and the red and then whatever else here is some kind of a mirror or galaxy or something like that. Remember you'll go to the video just before this too. And then basically so I gotta try to freeze this some more time here. Because it's coming up because I was really lucky on the first video that I actually believed that I had a very better shot of it coming in, bleeding in really heavy. As you see, I kind of skipped over there because it's just within a few hundredths of a second that it basically is a very good shot. And it's a little heavier. And that might be it. We'll take a look at that. And this is pretty good too, so basically I'll take a snapshot and see what we can zoom in on this, on the look of this here. So I'll just take a snapshot and be right back. So here we are, and then I get my toolbar locked in up there, but it's out of our way. We should be able to zoom in on this, and we'll open it up real fast. Just go to the file, open it with uh, paint real fast. 
Mm, touched a little bit too fast. We're going to get a look at this, whether somebody doesn't want us to. Oh, not. Here we go. And now we'll zoom in. We should be able to get a good zoom on this. And we'll slide down. And no matter what, this stuff is there. So you're going to have to get a good look at that. And no matter what, they're getting a good... at 18,000... 13,800 and some feet over there in Hawaii. They're getting a good look at that there, which will blow in, which is definitely separate of what we've been seeing. Not exactly. I mean, it could be what we've been seeing down at Nehemiah. Who knows? But, or a portion of it, or maybe we've seen it down there at one time or not. It's not in front of the sun here, as you know, that the sun ain't now. See, I that painted there, but that's just basically a mistake of having marker on, but see, as you can see, I haven't painted nothing else on this picture. It's just, uh, okay, so you got that there. You can blow in on it a little bit more. And there you go. Whatever that pink diamond shaped is there, and maybe if I scoot down, we can just go into the, the next objects. And nope, I gotta go up, and we'll go down in size so we can find them. Oh, come on, get over here, baby. And there we go at that. So I'll go back up and we'll get in on that. And then I seen it reddish when I first got a good look at it. So, and then we go in on this. Boom. Come on. Mm. There you go. And then over. Try to get in 800 on this and move down. Mm. And remember, this bleeding through the clouds. And come down and we'll go to the right so as you can see it's right of Rigel and then you get that flamer there that I would call that and it's bleeding through the clouds and then you got the white on the right so very very interesting okay because that stuff's there now and you can play around with the video and then hopefully tomorrow night we'll get another view of what happened tonight and you'll see this dance around pretty good too. I caught it there, and I'll see as I go to try to freeze this. You'll see it there, and then you'll also notice because I'm going to be keep keep clicking to try to hit that. I mean, and you can see it pop in there, and then as I'm trying to get it to the 519, you see it also come again up there. And you get that action also there to the left. And you get that dark spot that pops in too. And as you see it came back on again there. Let's freeze that for a second, take a look at it there. And there's a 700 zoom over there on it. So as you can see, it's a very unusual object. And then we'll zoom back out here real fast. We'll just hit boom. And we'll get back to like, what, 125 or 150 that I'm at. Scoot up on the screen. And as you'll see, that this won't be a plane that comes over here. And as you see, it, it was a streaker. So, And then basically, it's just part of the star action. And there you go. Bam, it's back there again. So let's take a look at that too. So, And as you can see here, all this stuff is in, in the sky. It's getting reflected down, flashing. So we are going to get some interesting stuff, as you see here. Boom, boom, boom. And it's just out before where I thought I froze it real good before. So you get some really great looks at it there. And basically, I'll see if I can go up a little bit. I'll try to go a higher on custom, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. It kind of blacks out. Let's see if that what that ends up looking like. And what do you know? We got a, we get a little bit better look. So you get a look at what the scuff is. Because no matter what, it mirrors itself down here pretty good. So there you go. You get a pretty good views on that. So I'll take a snapshot of that and see if I can blow up on that, on all this stuff here. So check out the light show here. This is all in the sky. Zoomed in on this. Check out all this. Check this thing out up here. I'm going to have more on that later. That's going to have to blow that shot up. So there's tons of stuff out here and up in the sky and everything that we already seen out on the bottom. But this is this is wild stuff. Definitely going to be some stuff freaking people out.